Okay, third time is the charm. On the left-hand side, we're picking out pleasing combination such as... which are reflected over here. In Muse score. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era Part 4 Script. In today's episode, we re-entered asking ourselves, can music be invisible and still have effect? That's because on our video edit we just completed in the last episode, we put some of our music at the intro, extra, and posted it. We got a lot of positive feedback, but we suspect it's because they like the 30 minutes in between the five second intro and extra. And so our question was, does the music still contribute to the total effect? We think it does, and it's, so to speak, invisible. That all said, we began updating slides in the script for a new presentation. Uh, the slides look like this, and the script looks like this. And this is a presentation on online teamwork and collaboration, which we've given for the last several years, but it's being significantly revamped on the front end because we have a different audience. And so it has the script, and then what we always do is have a demonstration, and so we have a brand new demonstration included at the end. So we spent a bunch of time on that. And the relevance to our stream theme is, of course, that this stream shares composing and cross-dimensional thinking and online presence, which is multimedia composition and online streaming. So we are giving all these presentations online and we're composing, putting things in a pleasing arrangement visually with cognitive ideas and music, which you just heard. So after we updated the slides and the script, we said, oh gosh, why don't we make some music to go with it? Music for teamwork and collaboration online. And as you recall, we've been working with our first custom pentatonic parallel scale called PP01, which has uh, these scales, minor, major, full, and these chords. But this time, instead of playing a bunch of chords and then making music out of it, we said, let's go into our 3D environment here and pick out some pleasing combinations, which you just heard us demonstrating a minute ago. Because to be honest, if you look at a piano keyboard and try to leave out these notes in the middle, you'll, you'll keep hitting them. Plus, when we play these intervals, because we're so trained in the traditional Western scale, we keep wanting to sing a note that isn't available in that scale. So this is a second way to uh, approach composing in a custom scale. So that's what we did. We said, well, what do we call it? Well, let's call it composing music for teamwork and collaboration online. So these are all the intervals that we came up with. And what we were doing was we were seeking to match those to one of our team models, which is that teams develop in four stages, form, storm, norm, perform. So forming is kind of reasonably friendly and getting to know each other. Storming is when you start to argue with each other about what to do and how to do it. Norming is when you start to agree on things like what are we going to work on and who's going to do what. And it's kind of got a busy mode too. But it's moving along, it's moving along. And then performing is where you're cranking down, doing your parts, and, you know, hopefully end up with a big finish at the end. But the fun thing is, we said, well, that was sort of interesting, but kind of slow. So we made a second pass using the same themes, uh, forming, storming, norming, performing. You see I'm highlighting these down there. That should say performing. But in real life, and we call it the beginner, and that's for beginners. That's what it's like when you first work on a team. But as you get more accomplished, and we're speaking to a more accomplished audience, forming blends into storming, even though forming's not quite done, and storming blends into norming. So see storming, 
overlays norming. So we decided to make a musical metaphor for that, and this is what we kind of came up with. And like that, we, we kind of like it. So now what we're thinking of doing is not only do we have to up, finish updating our slides and our script, but now we're thinking maybe we should upload this music. They're only like 20 seconds a piece and, you know, let them listen to it. And we want to we want to kind of emphasize the difference between a difference between beginning and advanced. So what we're going to do is play the whole thing for you. This will be the beginner version and it still has a sneaky overlay of uh, overlapping these these uh, counter melody anticipates the next phrase. And we just learned that in the previous composition. So here we go. Music for Teamwork and Collaboration Online 1, Team Stages Beginners, followed by Team Stages Advanced. And so what we like about this, we like the idea of the oral metaphor to go with the visual diagram of stages you know when you always get a, like a second perspective on on a concept you're trying to explain and it's musical uh, we also like how we snuck in forming at the end because one of our key points in our is that that in the end you the next team you get on you're going to evolve around and you'll be f forming again before you know it so forming it's it's so it's an implied cycle here but it's not just a cycle like you know spinning your wheels going in a circle it's a it's a spiral going up ideally so that concludes today's stream and episode shout outs my god to ravage 21 Sixtanic, libby Twitch ruined my life 24 times. Welcome back. Twitch ruined my life 24 times. John Game Official and Miss Cleo. Our ideas our next time are to give that presentation and uh, one, two, three, four, our good old friend to be de determined because that is always rich, fertile ground. And find out what happens next time. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.